Got another little project here. I got a Ford Dually Fender Flare that I'm about to paint. I think they're good for the 1998 through 2010. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm guessing that's the correct year. And we will be prepping this up, getting it ready for paint, and we'll paint it gloss black. Let me get it out the wrapper, then we can inspect it a lot more to see what we got to do. I thought this was raw plastic, but it's actually fiberglass. See? And then I looked on this side, it looked like it's already prepped to be painted. I don't know if I'm going to have to do much more to it, but I'm going to turn it over and make sure. Look like the fiberglass cracked right there, but it's just on the back side. Let me turn it over and make sure. It's pretty much ready to be painted, but if you look around the edge, it's got a few rough ends just along this outer edge that I need to clean up. But other than that, everything else looks fine. It's got a, I think I'm just going to prime the whole thing again I'm gonna scuff it up with a maroon scotch sprite first then I'm gonna put some glaze and put it on these little rough ends around the edges then I reprime the whole thing and wet sand it so let me take care of these it's a little crack there let me take care of all the rough ends and right here it's not even level I got some 180. I don't know if you can see it, but I got some 180 here. And I'm going to use that just to go around my edge, try to clean it up, round it off a little bit better than what it is. But you can see it ain't rounded off correctly. Then I got some maroon scotch bright. And it's the, let me see, the 07447. I'm going to use that just to scuff the uh, primer up so I can shoot some more primer on top of it once I repair these spots here. I'm just going to knock all this down first. Then I'm going to go back and fill in like spots like this. Now you can see where I sanded it, trying to round everything off. But this whole top side here. It's wavy, so I'm going to have to wipe a light skim coat along this whole top side and block it. You can't see the waves, but they're there. I can really feel them. So, I'm going to mix up some glazing plate, two-part glazing plate by Evercoat. And i wipe this whole top side, and I'll cut you back on. Then I'll go ahead and start filling this in with the leftover. Got this here white with two part glaze and put it. It's not all the way dry but it's dry to the touch. While I'm letting this finish up drying up, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this up here. Scuff it up for the primer. I said I was gonna hit this with the maroon scotch bright but since I'm gonna prime the whole thing again, I'm gonna hit it with 180. I'm just gonna take a piece like this to still cross the whole thing.
I'm just trying to scuff it up so the primer has something to bond to. But once I scuff all this up, this will be good to go ahead and start blocking. Finished up hitting everything with the 180. I seen a few spots that I'm gonna hit with one part glazing put it. It's like I don't see it now. But once I blow it off, I bet it's right here. I don't know if you can see it. A little scratch right there. Then it's a little spot here. A little imperfection. I'm gonna hit that with one part glazing put it. But I'm going to blow it off now with the blow holes. Then I hit my little small imperfections. It's the two part with one part glazing put in here. Even though the primer probably would have filled them little spots up, but I just put some there in the way. And this done dried up, so I go ahead and block it. And I'm gonna be using some 180. I'm gonna use this block here. I think it's good for this surface area. Finished up blocking it with the 180. I had to go back and put some more filler on the free spots. I had to build it on up here because it was kind of low. But I think I got it pretty much flat now. Now I'll blow everything back off, wipe it down with some wax and grease remover, and get ready to shoot some more primer over everything I think I'm ready for some primer now I'm gonna hit my spots that I repair at first I probably hit them twice put two coats on it then I go back and hit the entire fender flare
primer. It done dried up now. It's been sitting out here for about eight hours. But now you can see all the imperfections and it. it's not that many. When I was spraying it, I seen a little ding right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's one there. And I seen quite a few along here where I did the repairs, but all the blocking should take care of that. But I'm going to feel this one here. And I think I seen a couple over here. It's hard to see it through the camera. But I seen it when the uh, primer was wet when I was spraying it. But I fill them up with this glazing put it here. Let me take care of that. Then I'll cut it back on. Now we're going to do a guide coat. I done ran out of flat black spray paint. You could use gloss, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's going to be harder to sand. So I'm just going to use a different tint of primer use it for my guide coat. You just want to shake it up and mist it on. up here then we'll start wet sanding getting everything ready for the base coat knocking everything down flat now I'm about to start wet sanding I got a rigid block then I got a little flex from here and I'm gonna use some 320 grit sandpaper it's my ever coat I got some soapy water I'm just gonna I'm going to have to drop my sandpaper in it, but I'm going to cut it in half first. Then I'm going to drop it in there, let it soak for a couple of minutes. Then I just start blocking it, removing all the gag coat, getting it flat. Cut it in half, now I'm just going to put it in the water and let it soak for a few minutes. I'll go ahead and drop my blocks in the house. So just want to get your block with your 320 on it you can use 400 but I got 320 you just want to remove all the guide coat it's going to show you all your low spots once you start removing it everywhere where the guide coat is still at it's low but it should be pretty much flat right here but let me remove some more and I'll show you Alright, you can see now, still some guide coat here and here. So that's low. I gotta keep on and remove all that. Once it be nothing but the gray primer, you're good to go. And I done did all the cut ins like around here. I did it with my hand. I didn't use a block because it was rounded off. Right here. And I did this bottom side with my hand because it's not going to be seen, so I won't worry about that also around here. I did all that. I just got the flat areas left. Let me show you what I done did so far. This here is high. These high areas where cut through the primer, the primer that I sprayed and I cut into the primer that did it from the factory, whoever made it but those are high spots there I pretty much got it flat but right here you can see it's still low I'm gonna have to go back with some glazing putty with glazing putty and put some here and I might gotta put a little bit more here and right here is high that's how it also because I cut into the primer and right in the middle you can see it's low so I'm gonna have to feel that some more little low areas but I can block that out 
little area here, a little pinhole. This area here, it was high also. But this pretty much flat. It's a little low spot here, but I still can bring this down a little bit more and I'd be good. I wipe those areas there. I finish blocking the rest of it, then by the time I get through blocking this, this will be dry, then I block that. the wet sanding on out all these little areas here was high spots where I cut through to the primer that was already on there but it ain't no big deal because it's level now that was a high area so I take this outside and wash it up with some soap and water and I clean the booth out a little bit then I bring it back in and get ready for the base. Got it back on the inside now. Only thing left is wiping it back down with some Wax and grease remover, remove my fingerprints and oil because we don't want no reaction. After I wipe it down, then I spray my base coat. I'm going to show you what kind of base I'm going to use. This is going to be the base I'm going to use. It's by Uricam. It's the Super Jet Black. Mixes two to one. I'm going to put about three coats on it. I had went on to spray the white silver just to be on the safe side because I had a free burn throughs with the primer and I didn't want it to start wrinkling and lifting on me that's the worst thing can happen then you got to start all over so I just wanted to be on the safe side now I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my base and spray my base So the jet black, after I sprayed that sealer, it just took two coats to cover. That's one good thing about spraying the sealer. Now let me mix up the clear. Let me take you over here and show you what clear I'm going to use. This will be the clear I'm going to use. It's the Grant 7. Oh my clear. Mixes 2 to 1. High solid.